Hello everyone. Since you guys showed so much interest last week in our beer glass engraving and Oktoberfest in Germany is coming soon, we thought we would show you how we do beer glass engraving on the Creality Falcon 2 22 watt. So what do we need? Well, first, of course, we need beer glasses. Some black ink or black paint, the Creality Falcon 2 22 watt, the rotary roller for holding the beer glass, and a laptop for running the Lightburn Studio. Okay, before we can get started, we need to adjust the, the height of the Falcon for the rotary roller. So we'll add two risers, and then we'll connect the rotary roller to the Falcon. Now before we can get started, we need to adjust the height so the rotary roller will fit underneath. So we add two risers to the leg of the Falcon 2. Very adjustable. There we go. So to connect it, there's a little motor here. We unplug the wire and the wire looks like that. And then we plug it into this cable and the other end plugs in here. Couldn't be easier. Now we need to apply a black ink on the glass to help it absorb the laser beam better. We don't want it to be quite so reflective. Glass is too reflective. So let's see if I can not make a mess. We only need to paint the area that we're going to engrave. Now, while waiting for the ink to dry, next we have to set the focusing block, the distance of the laser. This is the focusing block. You can see right now the laser is too low. We just undo these two screws, lift up the laser, and we set the focusing block on that thickest section because we're doing glass right there. Tighten the screws, and that is how far you want the laser from the glass. Okay, let's go into light burn. First, we need to connect our device. I've got mine here. Now we're connected to our Falcon 2 22 watt. Let's zoom in on our logo that we're going to engrave. Select the entire thing. And we need to rotate this counterclockwise. That's the direction of the roller. And because we're doing it on glass, we also want to mirror it vertically so that it prints backwards, which is going to be forwards on glass. Excellent. Now go over here to console. And in the commands, I have to type dollar sign 101 equals 60.375. Hit enter. Okay. Let's confirm that with two dollar signs. Okay. So now if we scroll up here, we should see at 101, you should see the enter. We entered 60.375. Next, we go to cuts and layers. And I want to change the speed here to 1,500. And I'm going to change the power to 20%. Good. Oh, I got to turn off the air. We don't need the air when we are doing glass. Okay, while we're in cuts and layers here, I'm going to change this from line to fill. That looks better. Wow, that made a big difference. Okay, the next step, I guess we should put on our protective glasses. And we're going to hit frame frame is going to show us on the glass that whole area is on my black paint and it's not too close to the edge that I love right there that might be out of bounds continue anyway yes it's not out of bounds and here it goes Okay, so now our print is done. We just move this out of the way. Here's our glass. Looks really good. And all there is to do is wipe it off. That's why I use this 
dry erase ink, I like it. You can just wipe it off with a dry cloth. Comes out pretty clean. I guess there is one more thing we should do. We should probably have a beer. You can't do a beer glass without a beer, so there we have it. All right, that's all we have for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or ideas, leave us a comment underneath. Subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next time.